Proper crimping is a four-step process. The first thing that you want to make sure is that you're using the proper size crimp tube or crimp bead for your wire. I'm using .018 wire, so I'll be using a number two crimp tube. First, you'll put the crimp tube onto your wire, then attach your clasp, and thread the wire back around the clasp and back through your crimp tube or bead. Now, a couple of important things to remember here. You want to make sure that first, you have a little bit of wiggle room in between your clasp and your tube. Don't tighten it all the way up because that puts too much tension on your wire and it is likely to break. The other thing you need to remember is to make sure that your wires are sitting next to each other and are not crossed. That way, when you crimp your crimp bead or your crimp tube, the wires will be nestled in each of the separate chambers and won't be smashing on themselves. Now to use the crimp tool, there are two separate notches. The first notch is a, an oval notch and the second notch has a nib in the top. The first step is to place the crimp tube or the crimp bead in the first notch of the crimping tool. The second step is again making sure that those wires are next to each other and not crossed. You'll come in the second notch of your pliers and gently squeeze down to form a half moon shape. Now the final step is to place the half moon shape back in the front of the plier and gently round it into a circle. This step takes a little bit of finessing and you want to make sure that you are not using a super tight grip but rather letting the tool work its way around that crimp tube or crimp bead for a beautifully finished design. The technique for crimping crimp beads and crimp tubes is the same. Take your crimp bead and thread it onto your wire. Add your clasp. Thread your wire back around the clasp through the crimp bead. Tighten it up, but leave a little bit of wiggle room in between the clasp and the bead. And use your standard crimping tool because this is a size number one crimp bead. Start in the front of the crimping pliers to make a half moon shape. Come back to the back of the crimping pliers, press down, and then back to the front of the crimping pliers to get that bead nicely rounded. 